Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at a bunch of charts here and I'm going to give my analysis and my thought process and you're going to walk away from this video with some newfound knowledge on technical analysis as well as hopefully some profitable trade ideas based off of this free analysis video that we're about to give you right now. But first, if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com, go ahead and give us a visit on the homepage of the website and get to know us a little bit better. If you like these free videos and analysis that we give to you on a daily basis, it's really nothing in comparison to the membership you get once you sign up with the premium membership. Once you sign up with the premium membership, you're going to get instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting and loving on a daily and weekly basis. It's a great opportunity and we'd love to start helping you make money in the market. All right, so let's take a look at some charts here. The first one we're going to take a look at is Facebook, and you can clearly see it's reacting to this level. Once again, that level is right around 174. You can see it was this big gap up level uh, that we got rejected at. Again, almost here, uh, right there, uh, here just a couple of days ago, right there. And then today, we hit it right on the head. The high of today was 173.85, pretty much hit it right on the head, right there. So you can clearly see. Uh, that this is a level here that you want to be uh, paying attention to. So uh, to me, looks like we could definitely see um, a breakout on Facebook. Uh, number one, because, well, this is just a very bullish stock and uh, it's been going up for uh, basically almost two years now uh, with very little retracements, all right? So uh, another thing that I want to point out too is we pointed out in the last video we did on Facebook is this false breakdown. All right, so we had this false breakdown. You can clearly see there's a support level. It's getting bounced off of many times. So you can clearly see this is a key support level. We break that support right here on heavy volume right there. And then we had a sideways trading day and then a gap up right there. That was the long signal right there on Facebook when we gapped up back above this support level. And now that we see that Facebook has gone higher, we can assume this was buying volume. We saw a lot of buying volume right there. So what I want to focus on too is we've got uh, MACD, which is crossed uh, bullish right here. We've got RSI, which is back above uh, the 50 line right there. Um, so what you want to look for is if we can get uh, clear of 174. So if we can clear 174, then we can see a very nice breakout on this stock, uh, similar to what we saw over here after breaking out of this sideways trading range. We went from 155 all the way up to 175. That was a big time breakout uh, for that stock. And right here, we traded sideways for uh, pretty much two months, just over two months. And right here, uh, we've traded sideways for about two and a half months. All right. So we've got even more energy built up um, on this stock. So this is a big if, okay? It's a big if, uh, if we clear 174. So until that happens, um, you know, this is still a big time resistance and we really got to pay attention to that. So um, to me, 174, that's the main level. Really got to focus on that level. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Alibaba. And Alibaba, to me today, is a little bit of a short-term reversal signal um, because we clearly got rejected here at this trend line you can see right there and then today we had a gap down and close below the previous day's low uh, to me this is a short signal um, i think that uh, alibaba is going to come down and test uh, the lower rail of this trend line uh, which is about uh, five dollars uh, below us so uh, you know, not calling for any kind of a crash or anything, just uh, short-term uh, play right here. The best entry would be, you know, if we got to move up into about 182 to 183 uh, right there on the retrace, and then you get an even better entry for that short down to that 185, uh, which is totally possible because we closed pretty much at the lows um, of the day, and normally when that happens, you see some kind of a retrace um, up. So if we do get some kind of a retrace, I think that's going to be a good short entry. Um, so definitely be looking uh, for something along those lines on BABA. 
The next one we're going to take a look at is Baidu, another Chinese name. And Baidu looks much better uh, than Alibaba. And that's because we broke over this resistance. You know, if you back up the chart here, I'm going to go to the weekly time frame. You can clearly see this is a previous all-time highs right there at about 251. And we broke over that level here uh, with convincing fashion the other day earlier in the week. And on some pretty decent volume as well. And then the next uh, couple of days right here, very small sideways trading days right there, which is to me very bullish because we're just digesting these gains and it just needs a little bit of time uh, and uh, a little bit of a break before eventually bouncing and making new highs. So very bullish here um, for Baidu. I think it's going to head higher. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Chipotle. And Chipotle is looking like it wants to uh, move here, head higher. I think it's going to at least tag uh, 321. You know, we closed over this resistance. You know, we hit it right there. We hit it right here, right here. Finally, we closed over that resistance right there. Very compressed uh, look right here. I think it's going to head higher. Uh, we can look for about 321 in the near term. Uh, it's very, very compressed, just sideways trading, sideways trading, you know, kind of the same thing. Um, and the reason I think this is going to be the move higher here for um, Chipotle is because, you know, if you notice these other times, we didn't trade sideways here like we did, uh, like we're doing right now. All right. We didn't trade sideways right there uh, before eventually moving higher. We just kind of traded up and down and up and then went up there. But nothing like this where we traded sideways for about two weeks straight where we're just trading sideways within this range. And I'll show you right here with this box that I'm going to draw right there that we traded within this. What is this range? About 302 to about 310. So an $8 range right there. And you can't really draw a box on here or right here uh, before we move higher. So got a lot of energy built up. Um, and we're breaking out of that box. I think Chipotle is going to head higher from here. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Tesla. And Tesla, we've got a couple of things going on here. Um, really getting some mixed signals here on this stock. Um, I don't personally have a position on it, um, but uh, I thought I'd throw out my analysis for you guys just so you could see. Um, we got a couple of things here. So first, let's review. We like Tesla for a long right here. We called it out uh, with confidence right there, and we hit our target up here near 384. Obviously, it superseded that target by a few bucks, but you know we pretty much nailed that one right on the right on the head. And since then, uh, we didn't really call for a short or anything at this level. We just exited our position uh, right there, and as you can see, uh, it broke back below this trend line that started right here in March. You can clearly see it's reacting to this level there, there, here, several times here recently, one, two, three, and then we broke below that level right here, and we called for a short against that trend line right here, and we headed lower, but this day uh, really messed things up for our theory here because, you know, this is quite the reversal. You know, we traded lower right there, but then this day gapped up and closed over the previous day's high. And right here, we're just kind of uh, trading sideways um, against this resistance uh, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that resistance right here, right about 358 uh, right there. So if you're looking to short um, Tesla, this is the place to do it. You know, if we break, if we hit about 365, to me, that's going to be, uh, where you don't want to be short on this stock. Um, but as far as longs, I'd rather get long down here uh, near about 335. Uh, even better area to get long, in my opinion, is right around uh, 304. So 304, you can clearly see it reacting there. And there's a lot of sideways trading right in that 304 uh, range here on Tesla. The next one we're going to take a look at is Target. And Target uh, to me, if you have been watching these videos we did on Target, you know that we thought Tesla, I'm sorry, Target was going to head lower. 
We were wrong on that, and you won't hear many people um, admitting to that, uh, saying they were wrong. It's just part of trading. You're not right every time. Uh, what you have to do is keep your uh, risk versus reward at a favorable spot uh, so that your losers are small and your winners are big and that you have more winners than losers. So we have both of those things. So it's really no big deal uh, when you end up being wrong. Um, so what I do think now on target is that target is going to head higher because we had this false breakdown. Okay, We broke below this trend line right here and then we had a swift reversal up and back over this resistance here. You can clearly see its resistance there, 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 right there, and right here. And we've gotten rejected at it each time. And now we're over that uh, resistance here. We also had some pretty decent volume as well. Nothing crazy, but um, I definitely think that Target is going to head higher uh, up to this resistance. I'll lower that line to make it simple. Right there at about... Uh, 63 bucks is going to be that uh, near-term target um, for Target. Uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is ACIA. And ACIA, got a couple of things here. This is a must uh, bounce zone for um, ACIA. And we have this trend line right here. Here's a bounce. Here's a bounce. Here's a bounce. Here we are bouncing against it. So it's really, really important to hold this trend line. Uh, not only the trend line, but we also have the 50-day moving average, which is the red line right there. You can clearly see it's reacting to this uh, moving average and this trend line. And we're going to see, you know, is this going to be a continuation um, of the move lower? You know, it could definitely be that because, you know, if you look at the stock, it's been in the downtrend since... Uh, about a year and a half. For about a year and a half, it's been in the downtrend. Um, and right here, this could just be a consolidation move um, to the upside before continuing to move down. I really don't know, but I'm watching it for tomorrow. If we break this trend line, uh, then that's going to be a good short candidate. You can see the uh, MACD already uh, crossed uh, bearish. And another thing, too, is we made um, a lower high on the MACD as well. So here's that high on the price. And then here's that uh, lower uh, high on the MACD. And we've also got RSI back below the 50 line. Um, so really got a really got a bounce here um, on on uh, on this stock. So we'll see what happens. Um, but uh, really got to watch it uh, tomorrow because this is a very very key level. If we gap below about let's call it um the low of this day 4561 if we gap below 4561 to me that's going to be a short signal um, and this one's going to head lower so thank you for stopping by and watching this video everyone again if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com visit us on the home page and then get to know us better if you like these free videos and analysis we give to you it's nothing in comparison to the membership you get when you join the TradingAnalyst.com premium membership. As soon as you join, you're going to get instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting on a daily and weekly basis. It's a great opportunity, and we'd love to start helping you make winning trades in the market.